Hi friends, this is Neil from the Technical Marketing Team. In the next few minutes, I'd like to show you how you can easily deploy Veritas Net Backup from the AWS Marketplace. First, we need to search for Veritas Net Backup. A few choices will show up, so let's choose the latest Veritas Net Backup deployment. We're going to deploy Veritas Net Backup 9.1. Let's click on Continue to subscribe. All right, next we'll click on Continue to Configuration. And for our delivery method, we're going to choose Primary Media and Cloud Point Servers. Here you can see we're going to deploy NetBackup 9.1 and select the region you'd like to install in. We're going to click Continue to Launch. Everything looks good. Let's launch our deployment. Let's check the prerequisites, and if we're okay with everything, let's click on Next. Okay, now after this, we're going to enter all of our information for our net backup environment. Okay, first let's give the stack a name. Okay, now let's give our primary server a name. Let's select the server size, and this is going to greatly depend on your environment. Okay, now we're going to choose the NetBackup primary server installation volume size. All right, then we're going to enter the parameters for our media server. Okay, give the media server a name, select the size, and then again, this is going to greatly on your environment. All right, then we're going to choose the Net Backup Media Server installation volume size. And then after that, we're going to enter the parameters for our CloudPoint server. Let's choose the OS type, select the server size, and like the primary media, this is going to depend on your requirements. Okay, let's choose the Net Backup CloudPoint volume size. Give the CloudPoint server and Elastic IP if you choose to do so. Enter in any proxy information if you need that. And if not, let's continue to the SSH key pair. So let's select your SSH key pair. You'll want to create this so that you can SSH into your new servers. Okay. After that, let's choose if we want AWS to create a VPC for this deployment, or if we want to use a pre-created one. I'm going to use a pre-created one. Okay, here I enter the VPC that I created earlier. And this is the subnet I want the servers to be a part of. Uh, choose the availability zone your subnet is a part of. Enter in the VPC CIDR block of the VPC above. Okay, and after that, next we choose if we want AWS to create a new DHCP option set or if we currently have one. I'm going to use a pre-created one again. All right, I'll put in my net backup server domain name here. And whether to use an existing hosted zone already created for this domain. Okay. In my example here, I have a hosted zone already created. And since I don't want AWS to create a VPC and subnet configuration, I'm going to skip uh, these new settings. All right, next, put in a service username for the net, for net backup. This user will only be used to start and stop processes. They will not be able to SSH into any of your servers. Okay, now let's put in our net backup license key. Let's put in our net backup usage insights, customer registration key. Next, we'll enter a CloudPoint username and password. All right, then we'll put in any other names the CloudPoint host will be known as. This will be added to the TLS certificate. Okay, then we enter the port for CloudPoint to use. I'm going to use the default. Okay, the following settings for CloudPoint are optional, so I'm just going to skip these. Okay, and when you're happy with uh, what you've entered, let's click on Next because you're ready to go on. Okay, these are some additional things you can have the stack do. Personally, I like uh, this one under the stack failure options. I select preserve successfully provisioned resources. So if there's a problem, I can check the logs created in the resources. All right, all right, everything looks great. Uh, click on the acknowledge boxes, and then we'll click create stack. 
Okay, now after the deployment is complete, what we're going to do is we're going to log into the primary server to ensure that all the components are there. Okay, now we're logging into our server. And since we're not going to use the root user, we need to create this user on the primary server and give it privileges to log into the net backup environment. Please check out the associated blog that goes with this to see how to do that. Yeah, let's take a look to see if all the hosts are successfully created and registered by the primary server. Okay, everything looks great. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to deploy Veritas NetBackup from the AWS Marketplace.